Hey guys, Mike here with Jeeps on the Run, and today we're talking about the Maximus 3 tow loops combined with the Blue Ox draw bar. Uh, if you've already watched the video on how to flat tow your Wrangler, uh, this is going to be a little addendum to the video. We're going to talk about an addition that Maximus 3 has come out uh, for safety on their towing. So if you're looking to set up your tow vehicle to tow behind your RV, you can click the link above and watch that video. But keep in mind that this information also pertains to that, uh, to that video. Let's get started over here. So as previously discussed, we've got plenty of videos on how to install these loops. The advantage is it's nice and a clean install and it tows great. The disadvantage is we're just learning is when you have the vehicle connected, there's actually no, no connection between this loop and this loop. And the thought processes or what they're seeing in the field is when the Jeep is on a hard brake or the RV is on a hard braking and the Jeep comes into it, your, your, to max, your Blue Ox wants to open up. So what they're seeing is some of these are actually bending. Um, what I understand is this is usually an extreme case of very, very hard braking or in the event that you're not using a braking system in the Jeep. So I'm going adding this Maximus 3 tie bar, which we're going to show you in a second. Um, but again, it's always recommended in law, and it's the law in most every state to use a braking system, but let's show you the, the addition that Maximus 3 has put out. We're gonna show you how to install this Maximus 3 tie bar. So this is the Maximus 3 bar, just for sake of video timing. I've already got it installed, but I'm gonna show you how simple and easy it is to install for the first time. And then each additional time you go to set up the Jeep, this is gonna add maybe 10, 15 seconds to your connecting process. Um, but the added safety, I think will be well worth the advantage. So I've taken out the stock bolt that holds this Maximus 3 knuckle in, and I've just installed the bolt through the heim joint on the tie bar and through this whole thing. So all it is, is it sandwiches it, it in here. On this side, basically we've done the same thing. We've, re we've removed the bolt that holds the Maximus 3 knuckle in. But this side, as you'll notice, will have a quick connect pin. So when you're ready to go and connect to your Jeep, what you're gonna do, and we'll show it, we'll show it in a second, is you're gonna connect it like that. This obviously is gonna be much easier once it's connected to the Jeep, but I just wanna show you. So we'll talk about adjusting it in a second. But what this does is, now when the Jeep is on a hard braking and it pushes into this triangle, the, stat the physics, laws of physics are gonna tell you this is gonna to wanna to push out just because you've got this, this, this motion pushing into the back of the RV. Again, if you're using your brake system properly, you really shouldn't have a lot of that motion. They're noticing that the, the issues are only under braking, not under actual towing. So when this pushes in, it wants to push on these out and in turn can, can tweak your tow loops on the vehicle. So this lateral bar here will stop this from, from opening up. Um, on a heavy brake. So, so we're gonna hook this up to the Jeep. We're gonna show you actually how to connect this and adjust this. And we're gonna talk about a quick disconnect and how this thing stores when it's not on the vehicle. Depending what you do when you're not towing the vehicle, some people store this on the RV and they drive around. Um, the way it's set up with this one side bolted on permanently and this side a quick release, this will fold up and it will rest on the, on the blue ox. But if you're gonna drive your RV around, this is gonna bang around and or you know, just scratch stuff up. So they do have the option is, instead of doing the permanent bolt on this side, you can use two of the quick connects and then this entire link will come out. The only downside to that is, you'll have one more thing to actually take out and store and put away. The upside is, this will just store as it normally would. So again, we're gonna get it hitched up to the Jeep. We're gonna show you how to adjust it and what it looks like when it's completely installed. All right, so we've got the other side connected. That's the side with the permanent uh, connection on the tie rod link, I'll call it. And this side, so you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tie rod end, you're going to drop it on here and put your safety pin on. Depending on the style bumper you have and the profile here, uh, you may or may not be able to put this on after this is already connected to the Jeep. On this style bumper, it's very, very tight. So rather than scratching up the vehicle, I decided to put it on first and then install my, my pin. So right now everything's connected and we are going to show you how to make the final adjustment. Once this is adjusted, uh, it's basically a set it and forget it. Leave it locked. You're going to drop your two pins in. 
Uh, you're gonna you're gonna connect them rather, and then connect to the Jeep. Or if yours allows, you can connect to the Jeep and then connect them separately. So let's show you how to adjust it. So if you look at your Maximus three knuckle, the way you adjust this uh, bar is you literally. So if your jam nuts are, are tight, you're gonna want to loosen your jam nuts on both sides, and bring them all the way out to the heim joint, and <clears throat> when you to adjust it, you spin the bar. You spin it, let me loosen that nut over there all the way out. So when you, when you adjust it, you spin it one way, it's gonna make the bar bigger. You spin it the other way, it's gonna shrink it. When you're looking at these knuckles, you wanna get this to the point where the these are straight. You don't want the bar sucking them in, and you don't want the bar pushing them out. If you're gonna be biased to any way, you can err to the side of sucking them in a little bit just because that pressure is going to always try and push them out. But you're going to want to keep these things as straight as possible. Once you get to that point, we're going to go ahead and, and lock these up. I found the spot that I liked where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten up the jam nut. Remember, this side is reverse thread. So when you go to tighten it, it is reverse. I'm gonna snug them up. And then what I think is gonna be easier is I'm gonna remove it from the Jeep, disconnect it so I can get my wrench in there and really tighten them up. Once this is tight, in reality, you should really never have to adjust it again. So now that we've got it installed, if you're looking at the Jeep, and the Jeep was doing an emergency stop and you had 4,000 pounds pushing against the RV, rather than coming into this V and trying to open it up, it no longer can because it's got this lateral connection between the two of it. So I highly recommend it. I've been in contact with the engineers at Maximus 3. They specifically gave me the directions and talked about everything, how this should properly be set up. So this information is direct from Maximus 3. I had some questions myself. Again, this one is permanently mounted here and it's a quick attachment here. You can get them both with quick attachments if removing this all together is easier for you. I personally think that's the route I'm gonna end up going, but for the time being, uh, I'm okay with this. Thanks again for watching the video. Again, if you're looking for more in depth on how to install the basics and wiring the Jeep to tow behind your RV, there will be links in the video above. Please follow our sister channel, Midwest Adventure Life. We've got a ton of RV tips, uh, and be sure to like and subscribe to both Jeeps on the Run as well as Midwest Adventure Life. We'll see you out at the campsites.